Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. It is good to be back. Uh, 3D Boxing Podcast comes at you, uh, quick hits comes at you every day, uh, eight to ten minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It's near and dear to our heart. I hope let's get that monetized and up and running. Okay, Texas boxing scene. Let's get into today's show. Um, Devin Haney versus Jojo Diaz is the big fight tomorrow out in Vegas. Um, good, pretty, pretty decent boxing weekend we had today. Um, um, good boxing Friday we had today. Uh, we had we had two cards on the zone and ESPN Plus. Um, tomorrow we have um, Diaz versus. Uh, Haney, and then uh, Sunday, I don't know why Sunday, we we, we have Tank, uh, Tank Davis and uh, Isaac Cruz. <clears throat> but I want to spend today's show on Jojo Diaz, who enters the ring of five, uh, four, a plus 425. Um, you bet $100 on Jojo Diaz to win, you win 425. Um, I, I think those odds are way, way, way too one-sided. Um, Jojo Diaz could could win this fight. I'm not saying he's definitely going to win this fight. Um, Devin Haney is criminally underrated. I mean, uh, Jojo Diaz is criminally underrated. Um, he could definitely win this fight. People think he's just a pressure fighter. He's just a brawler. Guys, he's an Olympian. Um, he's got a ton of skills. Uh, yeah, that, that he does like to, the pressure, um, but he's pinpoint accurate when he does. He goes to the body. He throws really nice straight left hands, right hooks. Um, Jojo Diaz is, is an absolute problem. Um, I don't understand these odds. Um, he's fought pure boxes before. His best win of his career over Tevin Farmer is, is a pure boxer. Um, he gave Gary Russell Jr. fits. And Gary Russell Jr., I think, has the best skills in the sport, probably. Um, and Jojo Diaz lost, but lost competitively and lost really close. Um, Jojo, uh, Gary Russell Jr. also has a ton of pop. Devin Haney doesn't. Uh, Devin Haney is going to have real problems keeping Jojo Diaz off of him. Look, Devin Haney is a wonderful boxer. Um, he's lightning quick. He's sharp with his punches. He knows when to throw them. Um, he doesn't throw enough, uh, but he, he's he's excellent off the back foot. He, he knows how to use the ring. Um, so this is going to be a, a great contrast, right? Um, like I said, Devin Haney land, doesn't have a lot of power, but what he does have is, is persistent punching. He lands... Vital shots, temple, top of your head, behind your ear. He lands chin. He lands clean. He lands on the button, and that helps. Um, that that makes your shot seem more powerful. Um, but you're not going to be able to keep Jojo Diaz off you for 12 rounds, right? Jojo Diaz isn't some slow, plotting guy um, who's not going to be able to track you down. Jojo Diaz is going to get his head in your chest and he's going to start pounding, okay? He's he's really good in the mid-range. He'll set it up. He'll jab his way in. He'll work your body, okay? Um, Devin Haney's got to maintain range. I think he's got to time up on the inside. He's got to do a lot of things well. Uh, uh, Haney, he can do them. I'm not saying Haney can't. Uh, but but I, I, I think Diaz is a lot more versatile than he's given credit for. He's not just a pressure fighter. Okay, he's not just a crumb forward swarmer. There's a lot of skills there. He sets up his left hand and his right hook beautifully. Um, his footwork is really good at cutting off the ring. Now, he uses the ring really well. So, again, this is going to be a great contrast in styles. Um, he, uh, Haney's got to just keep him uncomfortable, keep him away, keep him at bay, right? Um, hit him in the body, hit him in the body. But I also think that JoJo, uh, you know, hit him in the body. Uh, touch him to the body. I, I, hit him in the sternum. Hard, right? Catch his attention. Slow him down is what Haney's got to do. Um, Jojo Diaz has got to get to the body of of, of Haney, too. Um, Diaz has got to get to the body of Haney, slow him down, take away his legs, break him down. Um, this is going to be a war of attrition, right? Like I said, 
There's no way. Like it, 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 if Haney gets on his bike and tries to run for 12 rounds, he's going to run out of gas. Okay. You're not going to be able to do. And this is what I always say about Canelo. You can maybe keep Canelo off of you for a couple of rounds, but eventually you're going to run out of gas. And you saw this with Caleb Plant. You have to stand in with them, right? Like even Floyd stood in, right? He didn't run the whole, he called him a runner, but I mean, he stood in, stood in. In the pocket and 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 landed that straight right, landed lead left hook. You can't run for all twelve rounds. It's not a marathon, okay. And a guy as good as JoJo Diaz with the skills, the jab, the body punching, uh, the precision punching, the footwork of JoJo Diaz, you're not keeping him off of you. Um. So Diaz, I, I, can Haney fight on the inside? We're gonna find out. Maybe he can, right? When Fulton fought Leo, we didn't know Fulton could play on the inside like he did. So let's see how Haney does. But he's going to be tested in that way. So Haney's going to have to fight a fight he's never fought before. Now, I'm not saying he can't do it. Maybe he can. You know, but we're going to have to see another gear in him. Um, Haney is incredibly athletic, but is he faster than Gary Russell Jr.? I don't think anyone's faster than Gary Russell Jr. Um Haney's a, a great pure boxer who, with, with great speed, reflex, athleticism. He, 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 he's what you want in a pure boxer. Um, but I don't know if that's, that gear that he has is enough to beat Jojo Diaz. Um, Jojo Diaz is not an easy guy to counter because if his footwork is so good and his punching is precise. You know, you can try to punch in between Jojo's punches, but his punches are short and precise. Like, this is not an easy fight. Um, I, I I don't understand the odds on this at all. I know people love Haney. Haney's got tons of skills. Haney's you know a, a draw. He's got a big fan base and following. Right, makes a lot of money. Uh, all that being said, JoJo Diaz is criminally underrated. And I am going to pick JoJo Diaz. I'm going to pick JoJo Diaz by split decision. I think this is a really fun fight. I, I I think that you know Haney has great moments. I think Haney wins rounds, and I think um, you know probably after eight nine rounds, this fight's pretty even. And I think Jojo Diaz just pours it on, wins the round, breaks him down. Because, again, you can't run from him for 12 rounds. He's going to get you. He, now, Jojo Diaz is not the biggest puncher in the world either. So I don't think he's going to break, stop you like Canelo and Tank, you know, Canelo at the planet, Tank Davis at the Barrios. But he'll beat you up, you know. Um, he'll break you down. And I think that's enough to get him the win. So my official prediction is Jojo Diaz by split decision. What I view is a great contrast of styles and a pretty 50-50 fight. A pretty, you know, even fight. But... Uh, I would say Jojo Diaz is definitely worth the risk of that. If gambling is your thing, I, I think Jojo Diaz at plus 425, paying $425 on a $100 bet, is it's, it's well worth the risk. Um, those those odds should be close to even. That's how good Jojo is. I, I think Haney is excellent, but Jojo Diaz is excellent too. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please leave your predictions. Let me know if you think of mine. Am I way off with Jojo Diaz? Uh, is he going to get outboxed, outclassed, and, and taken to school? I don't think so. Please let me know what you guys think. Uh, please share, like, and subscribe. Uh, quick Hits 3D Boxing comes up to you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. It is December 3rd, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get him in uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.